On my left, weighing in at 3.3 pounds is Lenovo Flex 5i. And on my right, weighing in at 3.1 pounds is Lenovo Yoga 7i. Welcome to the 2021 Ultimate 2-in-1 Convertible Touchscreen Laptop Grand Finale. So today's match is a showdown between two Lenovo laptops. Both these laptops will battle each other in a five-round knockout match. Only one will come out on the top and we crown the champion tonight. By the way guys, I've already reviewed both these laptops here on this channel and you can find links to those videos in the video description below. Also, if you are interested in the latest pricing and availability of these laptops, feel free to check out the links that I have put in the video description below. So without further ado guys, let's get started. Yoga 7i is a premium looking laptop sporting an all metal construction. Both its top and bottom half are made from aluminium, giving this laptop plenty of structural rigidity and dimensional stability. Flex 5i on the other hand, it's made from a combination of metal and plastic. So its top half is made from aluminium, but its bottom half is built using 30% fiberglass reinforced polycarbonate material, which is just a fancy word for, uh, you know, a high quality plastic. So in terms of structural integrity, Yoga 7i definitely feels stronger and more resistant to flex than Flex 5i. Both these laptops are using high quality metallic hinges that transform them from a traditional clamshell device to a tablet and anything in between. Both laptops use an island style backlit enabled keyboard that offers decent key travel and a satisfying clicky feedback during typing. Let's move on to the touchpad. So Yoga 7i comes with a premium glass touchpad whose surface is incredibly smooth making scrolling, swiping and executing various windows gesture a joy. Flex 5 on the other hand uses a plastic touchpad with mylar coating which isn't bad but it pales in comparison next to the Yoga 7i. Now both these laptops come with a fingerprint sensor for passwordless login which is really awesome. Regarding looks and aesthetics, I personally dig the slate grey matte finish on the Yoga 7i. Its rose gold coloured yoga logo on the top lid, it looks very premium. Flex 5i on the other hand, it sports a simple platinum grey colour finish which lacks the pizzas and the oomph of the Yoga 7i. So guys, this round is going to be an easy win for Yoga 7i. It has a superior build quality and a far more premium styling. So score after round 1 is 1-0 in favour of Yoga 7i. Both Lenovo Flex 5i and Yoga 7i use a 14-inch Full HD multi-touch screen that supports an active stylus pen. Both these display use an LED backlit IPS panel that provides great viewing angles. But Yoga 7i comes with a brighter panel that delivers 300 nits of brightness, which is much higher than Flex 5i's 250 nits. Yoga 7i also delivers 72% NTSC color gamut, which is higher than the 45% delivered by Flex 5i. Now Yoga 7i's screen is built using Dragon Trail glass, which is lightweight and scratch resistant, while Flex 5i's screen is using a traditional glass. Both these laptop screens use a glossy panel which generates bright images and vibrant colors making pictures and videos pop out. Both laptop screens use active electrostatic digitizer technology from Wacom for writing and drawing on the screen. They both come with identical Lenovo active pen which provides 2000 levels of pressure sensitivity creating a very natural brush strokes while sketching, painting and writing. Both laptops screen digitizer offer low latency and excellent palm rejection resulting in great note taking experience. But since Yoga 7i's screen is more scratch resistant, it's brighter and it delivers higher color gamut, I will award this round to Yoga 7i. So guys after round 2, Yoga 7i has established an impressive 2-0 lead over Flex 5i. But we still have 3 more rounds to go, so can Flex 5i make a comeback and knock out Yoga 7i? Keep watching to find out. Both Yoga 7i and Flex 5i are Intel only laptops. In fact, the i in their name denotes Intel. So you have the option of picking either Intel Core i5-1135G7 or the Core i7-1165G7 processor. While there is no AMD Ryzen model of Yoga 7i, you can pick a 13-inch Yoga 6 with Ryzen 5000 series CPUs. Similarly, there is a Ryzen configuration of Flex 5 that I have already reviewed here on this channel and that video is linked below. Now regarding the CPU performance, both 11th generation Intel Core i5 and the Core i7 processor, they beat AMD Ryzen 4000 and 5000 series processors 
in the Cinebench single core benchmark, but they lose out in the multi core benchmark. Regardless, both Yoga 7i and Flex 5i deliver great performance. So day to day tasks like internet surfing, running office productivity apps like you know word processor, Excel and PowerPoint, these apps run without any issues. Both these laptops also handle complex tasks like you know software development, video editing and Photoshop with ease. Regarding graphics, the integrated Intel Iris Xe graphics outperforms the AMD Radeon graphics in IE GPU FP32 benchmark. For casual gaming, both these laptops do a pretty good job. Now let's talk about the other hardware upgrade options. Unfortunately, both these laptops have their RAM soldered to the motherboard, so you cannot upgrade the memory. But the PCIe NVMe SSD drive can be easily upgraded by opening the back of these laptops. So when it comes to hardware specs, there is really nothing separating these two laptops. So as a result, I will declare this round a tie and I will award half point to each of these laptops. So Yoga 7i now leads with 2.5 points, while Flex 5i is trailing behind with only 0.5 points. Both these laptops come with a 720p webcam that offers around 85 degree field of view. Now it's fine for Zoom conference calls, but if you want to step up the quality of your videos, I would recommend picking an external 1080p USB webcam. Let's quickly talk about the sound quality. So both these laptops offer top firing stereo speakers that deliver a total of 4 watt audio. Now in laptop mode, these speakers are facing you, so they are surprisingly loud and they are pretty good for watching videos and listening to music. Moving on to the ports, so Yoga 7i comes with one USB 3.2 Gen 1 port and two USB Type-C Thunderbolt 4 ports that supports data transfer, power delivery and DisplayPort 1.4. But there is no HDMI port, no SD card slot, no Ethernet jack and no old school USB 2.0 ports. Flex 5i on the other hand, it comes with two USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports and one USB Type-C 3.1 Gen 1 port that supports power delivery but no display port support. But you do get an HDMI port and you get a full size SD card reader. Now both these laptops offer the latest Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1 support. So guys, this is going to be a close round. While I love the two USB Type-C Thunderbolt 4 port on Yoga 7i, the lack of HDMI and SD card slot really sucks. So that means you will need a USB Type-C hub to connect this laptop to an external monitor and read SD cards. So I will award this round to Flex 5i because it still offers legacy legacy ports which I use on a daily basis. HDMI port I think is really important and not everybody is going to go out and buy a USB Type-C hub. So with this win, Flex 5i narrows the gap but still trails Yoga 7i by 2.5 to 1.5 points. Yoga 7i is a part of Intel's Evo branding which promises thin and light laptops with great CPU and GPU performance and a long battery life. It ships with a beefy 3-cell 71Wh battery while Flex 5i ships with a 52.5Wh battery. So it should come as no surprise that Yoga 7i delivers a much longer battery life. I was getting close to 12 hours of battery life doing typical lightweight browsing on Yoga 7i while Flex i you know, delivered around 8 hours of battery life. So there is a gap of 4 hours of battery life between these two laptops. Now both these laptops ship with a 65W USB Type-C fast charger. A 15 minute charge will give you an extra 3 hours of battery life on Yoga 7i and 2 hours on Flex 5i. Now regarding thermal heat dissipation, both Yoga 7i and Flex 5i use one large cooling fan and a dual pipe heat sink to keep the CPU and the other internal components cool. In my testing, the Intel version of both Yoga 7i and the Flex 5i ran cool, while the 8 core Ryzen 7 4700U model of Lenovo Flex 5, it ran noticeably warmer. I stress tested the Intel Core i5 LN35 G7 chip and it ran at a turbo boost clock frequency of 3.5 GHz in the beginning before it settled to 3 GHz, which was still much higher than the base clock frequency of this chip, which is only 2.4 GHz. So this means that the CPU was always running above its base clock frequency it never throttled and that tells me that these 11 generation chips these are really power efficient and Lenovo has done a very good job with the thermals on both these laptops. But since Yoga 7i is a part of Intel's Evo platform and consistently delivers over 12 hours of battery life I am going to award this round to Yoga 7i. So guys with this win Yoga 7i delivers the knockout punch and demolishes Flex 5i to take the crown of the best 2-in-1 convertible laptop title. Lenovo Flex 5i tried its best, but in the end, it was no match for Yoga 7i. 
So guys, which laptop would you have declared the winner of this contest? Let me know in the comment section below. By the way, I have put country specific links for both these laptops in the video description below. So please click on these links to get the latest price and availability of both these laptops in your country. Guys, if you found this video useful, please smash the like button. It encourages the YouTube algorithm to recommend this video and help this channel grow. We are approaching close to 25,000 subscribers and I really appreciate all you guys who are watching my video. Also check out uh, my main website, Technopanda Review com where I have consolidated all my laptop reviews that I have done over the years. So thanks guys for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!